What's going on, guys? Welcome back, Kellen here again with Droid Life, and uh, well, it's a brand today that we haven't we haven't seen in a while. We have a Motorola phone in front of us. This is the new one. That's kind of hard to see. This is the Motorola Edge Plus for 2022. The last time we saw a flagship phone from Motorola was in 2020 with that original Edge. And uh, I think it was actually called an Edge Plus too. Anyways, I, I, I weirdly liked that phone other than the dramatic Edge display it had. I, th I guess a lot of people didn't. And then they took last year off, so now we're back. Flagship phone, and uh, we've got one in-house. So uh, let's do what we do, and uh, let's unbox the Motorola Edge Plus 2022. So what do you need to know about the Motorola Edge 20, Motorola Edge Plus? You could even throw in the 5G UW. I know there's like really, it's really, I'm getting really bad light in here. I apologize for that. Anyway, so um, this is the new flagship guy from Motorola for this year. And uh, it's going to be sold unlocked. So you can buy it just unlocked and use it on basically any carrier. There will be some carrier partners as well, including like Verizon and uh, I think maybe some of the prepaid guys. Anyway, so it comes in blue or white. I haven't actually opened this yet. So we'll find out what we've got here. Ah, it looks like blue. I, I'm a sucker for a good dark blue phone. We don't see them very often, so that's cool. Anyway, let's put the phone there. Let's see what else is just in the box. Two, there's two phone, never seen two phone trays before. Uh, this just feels like guides. And then look at that, charger in the box. I think this is a 30 watt charger. So this phone does 30 watt wired charging or turbo charging. And then it also does uh, oh yeah, it says right there, 30, Kellen, read that. So 30 watt wired charging, and this is included in the box. It also does 15 watt wireless charging. So you do get a charger here, and then this is a, what appears to be C to C cable. I'm gonna assume that's a C to C cable. I don't know why it wouldn't be. So um, that's what's in the box. And uh, oh, if you're wondering what these are, it says Snapdragon Sound. So this is a review unit from Motorola. They did send me a little box with other goodies to play with and these Snapdragon Sound Master and Dynamic earbuds were in the box. So uh, really excited to play with those, but just thought they added a little nice accent. Anyway, so let's clean this up and let's, let's really talk about the phone here. All right, so what you've got here is, uh, again, Motorola returning to the flagship arena, which is which is big news. They've, they've kind of not, oh wow, that looks so cool. <laughs> So they've done a, a really cool job here. I, I, it's actually, the camera's actually picking that up. Okay, see how that's like blue shifting, like a lighter blue to a deeper blue in the middle? That's exactly how it looks in person. Very cool finish there on the backside. Again, it comes in a white color as well. All right, so let's power it on. Where's the power button? Right there, okay. So powering on. So what this phone is again, them returning to uh, to the flagship arena. And in doing so, we have a thousand dollar phone. This this phone costs a thousand bucks unlocked. Uh, I don't know what carriers are gonna price this thing at, but if you buy it unlocked, it'd be a thousand bucks. However, at launch, they're doing like a hundred dollar discount. So it'll be eight, oh yes, hello Moto. Uh, it'll, it'll be 899 at launch for a limited period of time. And they may revisit that price over the life of the phone. But so 899, and uh, you're probably wondering, well, what you get for that. So you get um, up front a big 6.7 inch OLED display that is, uh, it's full HD, but it is 144 Hertz. So stupidly smooth on the refresh rate there. Uh, you know, Samsung's phones are like 120, Google's are 120. We got up to 144 here. So it might be just absurdly smooth. So you got that. On the inside, you have a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, which is the newest from, from Qualcomm, um, hence the Snapdragon Sound earbuds. So you've got that. So same processor that you've got from Samsung and their Galaxy S22 series, uh, a 4,800 milliamp hour battery, which as I mentioned, again, does 30 watt wired charging, and there is a charger in there, uh, 15 watt wireless charging. Um, You've also got uh, eight or 12 gig RAM up to five, 12 gigabytes of storage. I, I don't know how much this has. We will fire it up and, and I'll confirm that for you. So plenty of storage, plenty of RAM. It's got those goods, got stereo speakers, a bunch of microphones, Bluetooth 5.0, Wi-Fi 6E. Yes, this one does have NFC. I know Motorola does that weird thing with their mid-range phones in the US where they pull NFC out. This does have that. Obviously there's 5G. It is not necessarily water resistant. It's IP52. Um, but it's not like 68 like we've seen where you should really go dunking this or you know that sort of thing like we've seen from so many other devices. Um, you do have a USB-C port down here, SIM tray as well. There's one of the speakers. Um, volume rocker, power button over here on this side. Absolutely nothing on this side. 
there's that little Moto logo in the back, which I don't believe is anything. I think that's an in-display fingerprint reader. It does have a fingerprint reader, but that I don't believe that's one. Again, I'll try to confirm that. Um, camera though. So we haven't talked about this yet. So camera, you have a basically what is a dual camera system. I know there's three lenses. You have dual 50 megapixel sensors. So the main one is 50 megapixel f1.8 and it's quad pixel technology. So they're pixel binning down. Um, it's got optical image stabilization, um, phase detect autofocus. It's kind of the big guy. Then you also have a 50 megapixel ultra wide. So you've got really ultra wide at f2.2. And I believe that doubles as a macro shooter as well. So the, the ultra wide, you can also take macro shots with, which is great. And it's 50 megapixel. It's not one of those weird, like two megapixel macros. Anyway, speaking of weird two megapixels. So the third sensor, I'm not sure which of the three here is just one of those weird two megapixel depth sensors. So really it's a dual 50 megapixel shooter and then you have a weird depth thing. Um, but you know, we'll be interested to test that out. Uh, it runs Android 12. We'll dive into that software in just a second, but the Android 12 here has a very light Android skin on it. So it's mostly clean, gonna look stock-ish, and then Motorola puts their suite. But again, we'll look at that. And then up front, you have a 60 megapixel front-facing selfie camera, f2.2. So if you want the videos, the low lights, all of that stuff, you should be able to get that right there. So. Um, Anyway, it's fully spec'd out. Uh, it'll be interesting to play with it. It'll be interesting to see that price. Uh, let me dive into software and give you a quick look there. All right, so we've jumped through and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I looked at it for a second and this really is just that light Motorola skin action for Android where they just don't customize a ton. And then they add their software on, which is this Moto app. And uh, they mostly just kind of leave it like Google would sort of show you and then, you know, add some cool features on. This very much looks like a Verizon variant. And uh, the reason I say that is there's Verizon bloatware um, everywhere. So um, anyways, what you need to know is, so you swipe up and you have a familiar app drawer. It's got personalized stuff, things like that. Um, you've got Google Discover off to the side, multiple pages of stuff. Can't pinch in there, so that's very, very normal. If you long press, you can see even the menus look pretty much like they would look on a Pixel phone. Um, if we jump up here, and go into settings, you can see everything looks kind of like Android 12 does on a Pixel phone, uh, maybe slightly tweaked. Um, so one thing I did wanna show you though is in display. Remember this is 144 Hertz display. So if I go into refresh rate, um, they have auto, which will kind of jump that up and down to hopefully expand battery life. Um, you can switch it down to 60 to really get a good battery life and that jittery old screen back, or you can actually lock it at 144. I actually like that. And this is why I'm showing you to you. Most phones don't let you lock it at the high refresh rate. They give you auto or let you drop it down. So it's kind of cool that Moto is giving you the option to just lock it there if you want to see it at 144 all the time. Anyway, you'll see a bunch of stuff in here that I'm going to show you in a second because Motorola puts things in multiple places. So in the Moto app, this is kind of their claim to fame at the moment. Uh, not at the moment, for several years now. So um, if you go into this, this is where you'll get an area of all of the add-on features that Motorola does. So like you can personalize, um, and this is where you can, you know, like change the theme color on your phone and stuff. This is one of those, you know, Android 12 things. Uh, if we go back there, you can change fonts and layouts of home screens and icon shapes, and there's your system theme and font size and whatever. You can change all of that stuff. Um, but if we keep looking through here, um, you can see like a three finger screenshot is on there. Um, what was that other stuff? Um, display, so you can have it do that old peak display that they've had around for a really long time. I wish they would just go full always on, but they do peak display. Attentive display, you've seen that before where you just, as long as you're looking at it, your phone won't really lock. Um, you'll see like, uh, I believe quick capture is the, yeah, it's the wrist twist gesture. Remember Motorola, Motorola is the one that made that famous. And then uh, you should be able to do uh, the old chop for the flashlight. Yeah, you can still do the chop. So those are some of the things they've added on here. For this phone in particular, and I, I can't show you this right now, but they've added stylus support. So they're gonna sell you a separate stylus that adds quite a bit of functionality. It's very much in line with what Samsung's Galaxy S22 Ultra will do. Um, while the while the stylus is not embedded in here, it's got a lot of the functionality, the remote functionality, it's Bluetooth, I believe. Uh, but they're gonna sell that separately and I don't actually have any of those details. The other thing is, and you can see it right here on this box, it says ready for compatible. So Motorola made this ready for software, which is plug this thing into a monitor, set up a keyboard, mouse and all that. You basically can have a desktop like experience from your phone, very much like Dex from Samsung. Um, they're really pushing it on this phone probably because of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. I think it can handle it. Um, one of the cool things you can do is like use that camera or this camera. I think you can use all the cameras um, as your webcam in case you're like streaming and Zoom call or whatever. So. Uh, 
Anyways, uh, as far as the rest of the phone goes, I, I, we got to start testing it. Well, I guess I can fire up the camera. Never mind. That's you do the you do the twist, buddy. So here is the camera experience. Um, you can see there's a macro mode there. If I tap that, that should go to macro mode. Um, and there's 0.5 and 1x. So uh, remember, just a regular shooter, ultra wide, and then there's a macro mode there as well. So uh, we'll play with the camera and all of that fun stuff. We'll have that for you shortly. Um, not a lot else to say. Just keep in mind it's Motorola, so the software supports probably a couple of years. The software updates might not be that timely. Who knows when you'll get Android 13 or 14 when those drop. It could be several months out past everyone else. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but anyways, this is the new Motorola Edge Plus for 2022. A thousand bucks, but it'll be a hundred bucks off at launch. So uh, we'll review this thing. So stay tuned for a full review. If you guys have comments, questions, or want to know anything else, let us know. We're Droid Life. Peace.